why are you watching this video? Chances are you're not really entertained. It's not particularly funny. It's also not maybe informative or pleasing in many ways. So why are you watching? This is the question Jesus asks his crowds about John the Baptist. What did you go out in the desert to see? A reed blowing in the wind? What did you go out to see? A man dressed in fine clothes? No, of course not. But what about you? What are you looking for? Why did Jesus' disciples drop everything and leave everyone when he said to them, Come and follow me? Ultimately, what they were searching for, why you're watching this video, what makes the world go round is the pursuit of love. You're looking for love. And so often we're looking for love in all the wrong places. That could be in our sins or vices, but not only there. I tend to be a workaholic. I have this subconscious urge to work hard and produce results. And I think that this will make me desirable, more lovable. You know, we try to make others love us. We try to earn that love. My friends will love me if I'm funny. My girlfriend, if I'm attractive or kind. My parents, if I get good grades or a good job or we try to earn it from God even. If I'm holy, if I pray, if, 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 then God will love me. I've earned it, I deserve it, I have to prove it. Our love for Christ does not earn us his love. No, we love because he has loved us first. The old Baltimore Catechism says, I was made by God to know, love, and serve God in this life but even before that, we were made to be loved by God. Each individual soul has been loved into existence. He delights in you. The same God who made the stars and seas and mountains, he thought of you and said, the world needs one of you. Being a saint is first of all, letting ourselves be loved by God. So our vocation is first of all, how we are called to be loved by God. My yes is a response of love, of saying yes to a God who calls me in love. We don't need to earn or prove God's love through our vocation. It's where our vocation comes from. Our vocation corresponds to who I am on the deepest level, my sense of self. It also takes into account my hope of happiness, the deepest desires of my heart. And lastly, my vocation is how I will love and be loved in the most perfect of ways. Next time, we'll take a closer look at how this self-knowledge allows us to move from fear to freedom. But for now, simply spend some time with the Lord in prayer, not to earn his love, but to let him love you. store for me.